Hi, this is a, a question that uh, someone had about uh, templates for Athena. I want to explain the difference between procedure templates and macros. Uh, they're a little bit different. Okay. Uh, so first of all, um, a macro, uh, let's go with procedure templates. Procedure templates, you go here is little settings. You go down to clinicals and then you'll see here it says procedure templates right here. Okay, these procedure templates, we have 171 or 101 procedure templates. So basically it's amniotic injections, uh, arthroplasty, all these, uh, all these different procedures we do. And these you can edit by hitting the edit button. Um, you can also preview them by hitting the preview button. And it has this little verbiage and you can put in right and left and other things like that. Okay. Now, if you go over to an actual note, this is an example of a, a patient note. If you click the procedure component, you can see it right here. These are all the same procedures. And if you click it, it'll, it'll show up and you just add in what needs to be edited on this. Okay. So that's how the procedures work. And you can tab through and you can pick out right and left and that will fix that problem. Okay. Um, I also want to show you the difference between a procedure and a macro. So if you go down to the discussion note, um, here are some discussions. Now, if you hit dot, like I N it'll, it'll, I and grow it'll ingrown toenails with a callus with an infection follow up. You can choose whatever one you want. So these dot codes are your macros. And then if you go back to your, your EMR and you click up, on this little thing right here, it has text macros. Those are all the macros and I give them different names based on who owns them, if I'm doing them. And it expands into explaining what those macros are for ABIs, ABIs with ulcer, other, other things like that. So the, the macros are these, what they're called dot codes. So if you go in here, anytime you do a dot, um, PRP or something like that, or dot um, amnio, So they're on diabetes, diabetes, low risk, diabetic shoes, diabetes. And then every time you do that, you can save it. Now, a, a word to the wise, when you are typing, if you do something new, there's this little box, see this little star that just appeared right there. If you click that star, that's going to make a new, make an opportunity to make a new macro. So you can make it in the midst of doing your, your notes. So it's pretty easy to do that. And so hope that explains that question.